basically when we name acids, what is an acid? It's an uh, it's a substance that when we dissolve it in water, it yields hydrogen ions. So it takes the place of, if you want to think of sodium uh, and sodium chloride, the hydrogen comes off as an ion, H+, which is just a proton, basically, uh, a hydrogen nucleus or hydrogen atom which lost its electron. And that's what an acid, acid is. And they are named according to whatever the negative ion is. If the negative ion is just an element, like chloride, it's named like like hydrochloric acid, and we did the other cases down here. So let's take a look and name the following acids. Uh, first one will be HI. So first of all, is this an acid? We have hydrogen, which will be a positive ion, and iodine, which we already know forms a negative ion from the periodic table. Uh, so yes, we do believe this will form an acid. Now what is the ion associated with this? It's I uh, iodine, which uh, when we name its ion is iodide, right? Right? Chloride, bromide, iodide. That's how we name it, or that's what the name of the ion is. And according to our rule, the IDE just gets changed to an IC. So this gets changed into an IC, and you put hydro in front, and so what we get is hydro iodic acid. Hydro iodic acid. So just like hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydrofluoric acid, hydroiodic acid, named based on the ion, hydroiodic acid. All right, let's take a look at another very common acid we, we run across. Uh, what about HNO3? So again, this is going to form an acid because we have hydrogen involved in this guy. Um, and it's always named based on the, uh, the ion here, NO3. What is the ion NO3? So NO3 is the nitrate ion. So we write down nitrate. It gets named based on that, nitrate. And if we look back at our rules, the ATE turns into IC. You know, we've looked at it many times. I guess I'll do it for this first one. Just like sulfate, the 8 turns into IC and it becomes sulfuric acid. So here the 8 goes into IC and it becomes nitric acid. Not hydro whatever whatever acid, whenever it's a, it's a polyatomic, a more complex acid like this, it's just named purely based on the, on the ion. In this case, nitric, uh, ni uh, nitrate becomes nitric acid. All right, next, let's take a look at H2CO3. What is the ion? Everything gets named on the ion. So CO3. CO3. CO3 is carbonate. So let's write down the ion, which is carbonate. And the same sort of thing. The ATE becomes an IC, and it's just named uh, uh, based on this, so it becomes carbonic acid. You may have heard of carbonic acid. You see, once you get the hang of it, the, the process is pretty simple. All right, let's uh, do two, four, two more, and this uh, time I'm gonna give you the name, and we'll go backwards. Hydro, fluoric, acid, right? Hydrofluoric acid. Uh, all right, so this is uh, in, the, in the same classification of hydrochloric acid. So it's, it's basically whatever the ion name, in this case it's fluorine, and uh, which basically is gonna be fluoride, Right? which means the, uh, the uh, anion is going to be F, and the hydrogen has to be there as well, uh, because fluor, you know, fluoride, IDE, becomes IC. So when it's hydro something something acid, then it's basically just an element over here, just like it was hydrochloric acid. The ick told us it was chloride, so the ick here tells me it's a fluoride, which tells me it's just F. Now what is the charge that fluorine likes to take? Fluorine likes to take negative one and uh, hydrogen likes to take positive one, so negative and positive, and we do the crisscross, and we get HF, and that's it. HF is the uh, is the formula uh, for the acid hydrofluoric acid. All right, next, uh, this is a gimme because we've talked about it so much. Hydro chloric acid. Now, I know that you know the answer to this, but let's just pretend that you don't for a second. First of all, it's hydro something acid, so it goes based on uh, this, which is chloric, which means chlorine chloride, which means Cl is the anion, and of course, the hydrogen here as well. Chlorine 
likes to take a negative one charge and hydrogen likes to take a positive one charge. And so when we do the crisscross, you get HCl. That's why the formula is HCl. And you could do the same thing with any of these things. If I give you the name nitric acid, what you would do is you would go over here and say, well, nitric acid, IC, IC is associated with ATE, so nitrate. So what is nitrate? NO3, right? And what is the charge on a nitrate polyatomic ion? The charge is negative one, so negative one goes here. We ha have hydrogen, which always takes positive one charge uh, there, and then you have HNO3, and you can reverse engineer. So whether or not I give you the formula and you give me the name, or I give you the name, you have enough information to reverse engineer the formula from it. So pretty short lesson, just rounding out your skills, uh, you know, because what happens a lot of times in problems is it'll say something like, um, you know, you have this much quantity of nitric acid and you react it with this much quantity of zinc or whatever and uh, predict what's going to happen. Well, the first thing is nitric acid. What is what is that? Well, you probably memorize a lot of the common acids after a while, but even if you don't, you can remember, okay, nit nitric is associated with nitrate and so it's got to be HNO, HNO3 like we recognized right here. Um, carbonate, carbonic acid, things like that. So I'd like you to go through this again. When you feel like you understand it, follow me on to the next lesson and we'll continue to build your skills. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.